What's up YouTube? What is going on? If you didn't watch the last video, then you're missing out. But you will have seen, if you did watch the video, that we got a Ronin S. We're going to put this bad boy to work. But first, let's get it out of this box and see what's going on. Okay, so if you didn't know, the purpose of the Ronin S, the gimbal, is to help you get those silky smooth moving shots where the camera's not all shaky and stuff. They are a multi-axis gimbal with these little motors and stuff. Balance the camera while you are walking around with it or moving it or whatever. They just, they just make the shots smooth. Professionals use gimbals or glide cams so that you know the camera's just not bouncing everywhere making you sick i've had a ronin i've had a ronin m i've had the zion crane i actually still have the zion crane i still have a couple of newer glide cams but they're all a pain in the rear they're all difficult to use the they're heavy whatever so we just don't use them but for christmas my wife bought me which isn't for a couple of months but we're gonna start using it now uh she bought me the ronin s and um i think it's gonna be sick i hope that this changes my mind on needing to use or wanting to use a gimbal because the primary camera that I film on well the vlogs are filmed on the Canon 6D Mark II but all of our filming stuff and anything I want to shoot in slow-mo is shot on the Panasonic GH5 the in-body image stabilization in this thing is already wicked incredible so combining that with this uh, motorized gimbal whoo it's gonna be crazy so let's get this bad boy out of the foam case not a technical review here but we're gonna go over it anyway because it's dope filmmaker gear and you guys are probably a little bit like me you're just camera nerds also hopefully if not then why would you be watching some of this stuff but anyway here we go First up, tripod legs for the base. Now this has been a problem that a lot of the other things have had. The Ronin, the Ronin M, they're big things. You had to have a separate stand. It was just kind of a pain in the butt. You couldn't just set it down. The crane didn't come with one. You couldn't just set it down. Glide cam. If you had a light stand, you could set it on a light stand, but I mean, you know, whatever. Got this little pouch. It's got more chiclets in it. And it looks like this might be our charging cable and a camera control cables and a bunch Bunch of other little stuff we we will get into that in a bit figure out what else is in here power block plugging it into the wall get that plastic off of there boy oh, satisfying plastic removal if I could just get a hold of it oh yeah all right we got the quick release plate which might be my least favorite part of this because I use these little Manfrotto ball heads on everything and they all have a smaller quick release plate. I wish that I could have the same one on all of my devices. Uh, but I guess this is going to be the exception to that. Here we go. This is the, the battery slash handle. I have to cover my face so the camera will focus on it. But... Ah... Uh, more satisfying plastic removal. Quarter 20 and 5 eighths, I guess, screw on the bottom. But the, that just attaches to the, the tripod here, which gives us a little bit of extra grip. So now we got a double tall wah, grip sword style thing. And then we have the actual gimbal itself and that is everything in this pouch, pack, case, whatever. And that looks like it's just gonna snap onto here and it locks with a little thumb latch that I cannot get all the way over. But hey, no, that's good. Some more plastic. This is the uh, the focus knob. So with certain cameras, come on, right here. Certain cameras like the GH5, and I'm hoping the, the Canon, you can use this to pull focus on some of your uh, lenses, autofocus lenses. Now I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it probably does not have any battery in it. No battery, it's dead. All right, so we're gonna get this charged up and then we'll take it out for a spin.
All right, guys. The Ronin is dope. I love it. I want to say thank you to my wife for buying that for me for Christmas. It's a really expensive, big deal. And it's going to make filming a lot of things a lot cooler, a lot better. Get a lot more of that buttery, smooth footage that we all love so much. I will probably not be using it to vlog as much, like of me, because the, the selfie mode seems to drift a bit. I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm going to continue to play with it and find out uh, what's going on with that. But whatever, we'll get to that at some point. It does handle the Canon 60 Mark II with the 7200 millimeter lens. It's a little rough, but there's hopefully been some footage edited into this vlog for you to check out. I have to run to the post office real quick because they were closed yesterday and I got to drop off those packages. Then I got to come home and do a bunch of server updates on a thing and work on a little bit of code and get this edited and posted. Woo! Vlogging every day is hectic. It adds a lot to the day. I try to find things that are interesting to shoot, you know, just sort of add them to this. And uh, it, man, it's tough sometimes because there's just not enough time. Got two full-time jobs, plus I own leather work business, plus this video stuff, plus my son full-time. Ha! Yeah. If you guys enjoy what we're doing, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can come back and see all the other content that's coming out. Make sure you hit the like button so you can help us in the YouTube algorithm get shared with other people who have not yet noticed us, which is basically everybody on the planet. Share us with your friends so they can come and see my lovely beard. It is looking rough today. Anyway, come back and check out the rest of our videos as soon as they come out. Hit the little bell for notifications so you know when that happens. If you are super stoked about what we do and you want to help us out, make sure you check out Patreon. All of our links are in the description. There's all kinds of stuff. You guys have a great day. Go make something awesome. And yeah, well, anyway, that's enough crazy enthusiasm. I'll see you guys in the next video.